There was a tradition in my household from when I remember, like, oh god, it was years ago or whatever. My family and I used to watch Rankin Bass Christmas specials. You know, Rudolph, Frosty, Santa Claus coming to town. We used to do that all the time. Till I did it way too much and apparently annoyed the fuck out of everybody. <laughs> but when I came to this year, I decided, you know what? I'll watch Rankin Bass specials again. And I originally was going to do a review on them, but then I thought, I need something new. I need to see if there's something that I haven't seen of Christmas yet. There has to be some Christmas special that I've somehow been mysteriously not seeing. So I looked up some uh, Christmas specials online, and then I found one special that apparently got turned into some really stupid, you know, Pooh's Adventures, Rudolph's Adventures of whatever series. Now, that's for another time, but I was just looking through the footage, and I'm like, wait a minute, there's another movie that I haven't seen? It's a Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer movie. Now, I love Rudolph. Rudolph's cool. I don't remember that one time I decided to insult Rudolph, but... <laughs> no, um... I love the Rudolph and Santa Claus, you know, Rankin Mass specials, and I thought Rudolph was all right. But then, the Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, the movie. Let's take a look. Greetings, every peoples. This is your cult of personality, Tune Critic Watch 2 is the name, Tune's the name of my game. And first off, yeah, Christmas special, out of freaking nowhere, even though supposedly Polar Express was that. But then I realized, you know what? Need to do something a little different. Need to give you guys, you know, a little extra. You know, it's the season of giving and whatnot. And I figured, nah, one special isn't enough. Let's do two. So yeah, this is part two of that. With Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, the movie. I had never seen the special. I didn't think it was going to be anything special. It wasn't. <laughs> how do I how do I put this lightly? Uh, it wasn't. <laughs> so this one is an animated Rudolph movie from 1998, I believe. Yes, and it's got the the incredible voice talents of John Goodman as Santa Claus, Eric Idle as some weird ass Arctic fox, Whoopi Goldberg as the villain. Um, and Kathleen Turner is Rudolph. I think it is Kathleen Turner. And I could be, I could be completely wrong. No, no, why, who the fuck am I thinking of Kathleen Turner? Kathleen Barr, Trixie. How can I forget that? Come on, I'm, I'm so fucking stupid. Props of doing these unscripted. <laughs> With, yeah, Kathleen Barr, Trixie is Rudolph. You, you could tell. Uh, so like many Rudolph movies, this is the retelling of Rudolph, you know, how he was ridiculed, how he, they didn't let him play any reindeer games, how they did such and such. But this is a different version from the Rankin Bass special. I remember just sitting there, you know, eight minutes into the movie, I'm like, you know what? The animation, it's not too bad. The voice acting, it's, it, it's not that bad either. The animation really isn't matching up that much with the, uh, with... The faces and whatnot. Music's all right. Well, as long as it's gonna be like this, and Blitzen is singing. This is gonna be a musical, isn't it? Yep, yeah. yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. It's a musical. No, I'm not. I'm. I don't have a problem with musical. It just depends if the songs are good or not. In this case, they're they're in the middle ground. <laughs> some of them are okay, and some of them are just like. Why? <laughs> so in this special, you know, Rudolph is born, he doesn't fit in, and there's this other person, reindeer, named uh, Zoe, I think? Not Clarice, Zoe. And there are all the other reindeer who don't like him because he has a red nose, fucking racist, or whatever. <clears throat> I don't know if I should even say racist. Speciesist? Discriminative? Discriminatoriative? Something where they don't like red noses. And the main villain of this movie is Stormella, voiced by Whoopi Goldberg, who is a snow witch who is intent on burying the North Pole in snow. 
yeah, uh, that that that's her plan to ruin Christmas because Santa apparently is a dick. Burying snow and more snow might not be the best idea. You could probably just cut them into like a little iceberg and send them out to sea. Oh wait, reindeer can fly. Never mind. You you get what I'm saying? It's still it's it's really weird. It's like this whole Stormella thing we came out of nowhere. Uh, one really stupid plot later uh, involving Rudolph and I, I I don't even know. I'm so used to the Rankin Bass special that when I see this special, when it deviates so much and tries to be original and adds in all this unnecessary filler to prop up the movie to about like 80 or so minutes, I'm like, is this necessary? I mean, you know, the the polar bear, the the fox. Voiced by fucking Eric Idle with a... You can tell it's Eric Idle despite him doing an accent Eric Idle as a fucking fox. With his song just about yee high close to always look on the bright side of life. Although the song is kind of a parody of that. And all this other really stupid stuff. I tried to like this, but... it's It just doesn't feel right. I don't want to say it's a bad movie, but it's not a really good one either. I don't think this is one that a lot of people should be watching, and I don't see why a lot of people like the movie, because I've looked it up, a lot of people seem to really like it. I don't quite see what people like about it. I mean, like I said, the voice acting is alright, the, the animation is... Well, for 1998, you know, it's it's all right. We've seen better, but it just looks really dated now. Kind of looks like something out of um. Oh God, it remind <clears throat> it reminds me of like fucking Land Before Time animation, and that's not usually a good thing. Uh, I was, I guess, on the positive side. Yay for spotting some My Little Pony voice actors in it. I guess. You can't really tell at some points, but you can definitely tell where, like, Matt Hill or, um, or Kathleen Barr or, um, Lee Tokar, I guess. Kathy Westluck, Terry Kilsan, I don't even know. <sighs> oh, yeah, and Rudolph and Zoe get, like, a love number or some shit, and I'm like, okay, Rudolph is not supposed to sing. Not from what I remember. <laughs> singing some really cheesy love song or whatever like eh. i guess i'm just complaining with the movie i like i said i don't think it's bad but i don't think it's anything good either i wanted to check this out just so i could see what you know the, the what all the hullabaloo about this movie was and this just made me immediately after i decided you know what let me go back to the rankin bass special i have a better appreciation for the rankin bass special now the Rankin Bass special is one of my all-time favorite Christmas specials, you know, so I watched that, I got back in the Christmassy mood, tried to distance myself from whatever this Rudolph the Red-Nears Reindeer, the movie, is supposed to be. It's... I don't know, guys. Like I said, not bad, not good either. I guess that's all I really have to say on it. I mean... What else can really be said on Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, the movie, other than it's a Rudolph movie? I remember the Island of Misfit Toy CGI special having a little bit more life than this. But I guess for those that like it, the story is alright, you know, I was able to sit through it even though there were several points where I paused and I'm like, this is just really stupid. <laughs> I don't know, I guess I've been lacking, you know, in Christmas spirit this year. I don't know why I watched this. I was also going to try to watch all of the other reindeer. I don't know if you guys want to hear my thoughts on that. I still haven't seen that yet, so maybe it might be better than this. I don't know. But yeah. Uh, yeah, it's Christmas. Can't believe another year's come and gone. I'm actually really glad, you know, that things have, you know, this is the part where the review stops. <laughs> I'm actually really glad that things have improved and that things have um, gotten better. You know, just at the beginning of the year having like, what, 1,500 subscribers, then jumping all the way up to 4,800. That is quite an accomplishment, and I am very happy about that. And I'm also really happy that you guys have been along for the ride, that, you know, you've been a 
part of this ride and that you've been watching me get better and stuff and that you've seen me at conventions, you've seen me doing some other stuff. I'm happy to announce that the BabsCon panel got approved, so I am going to BabsCon next year and there's going to be all sorts of fun. I'm looking very forward to that. So, um, yeah. Merry Christmas to you guys. Hope you all have a great holidays. Hope you all have a great new year and all that stuff. And I will see you guys next year with some uh, new videos. I'll have a little My Little Pony video up soon. And then uh, some other stuff. You'll see. But anyway, thanks for watching. Um, like, comment, subscribe. Uh, links down below of all the other stuff. And yeah, see you guys next year.